So knowing these, what if we wanted to repay completely this debt by year two? Well, debt at that at the second year will have to be zero, and then uh, since we know this is one, uh, how much will this be? Well, uh, we just take this over there, and we know that uh, this is will be the the primary uh, surplus revenues minus expenditures will have to be positive in order for this to be zero. By how much? Well, by 1 plus R times the level of debt at year 1, which was equal to 1. So it will just be 1 plus R. So in order to repay the debt completely at year 2, we will have to run at a primary surplus of, of 1 plus R. That is, we decrease taxes in year 1 by 1 unit, and we will have to increase taxes... Uh, in year two by uh, one plus R units in order to repay completely the debt. That is the same to say one plus R raised to the second, uh, well, two minus one, that is uh, year two, that is year uh, whatever year you are in minus one. So if you want to pay the debt completely at year T, uh, then you would need to know uh, how much is the debt coming from year uh, um, T minus 1, which is what you will be repaying. Well, the debt coming from that year is, as we have seen, 1 plus R raised to the T minus 2. So in order uh, a debt at uh, year T to be 0, we will have to multiply this by this, which is just equal to 1 plus R, at t minus 1 plus the, the primary deficit which in order to be all that 0 we will have to have a primary surplus of uh, 1 plus r raised to the t minus 1 and that is the only way uh, that you will repay fully debt at year t running at a primary uh, surplus of this of course, times the level of debt at the beginning, which in our case would just equal to 1. But if we just wanted to stabilize the debt, that is, we want to keep debt at the initial level forever, uh, in our case just 1, then if we want to stabilize debt by year 2, that is uh, B2 equal to B1, which is just equal to 1, uh, then this will, be ha this will have to be equal to 1, is equal to 1, and then uh, this and this go out, and we know that we will have to run at a primary surplus of the interest times the level of debt at the beginning, which in our case is just equal to 1. And if you want to pay, uh, you want to stabilize the debt at year t, then uh, uh, the, the level of debt at year t will have to be 1. And this will have to be one, so the same story. We will just have to have a, a primary deficit at that point, uh, a primary surplus, sorry, which is equal to R. So uh, the story here is that we will have to uh, run at a permanent uh, primary uh, surplus of um, this amount in order to be able to repay. Uh, the interest on the existing debt in order for the debt not to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So if we want to establish the debt, we will have to just keep paying the interests on the outstanding debt for it not to grow any farther. How do we do that? Well, we run at a, at a primary surplus again and again and again.